Right, so this is my pepino plant, um, pepino dulcis, um, which essentially translates as uh, sweet cucumber. Um, you know, they're quite often called uh, um, a tomato melon or a melon cucumber. Um, the skin kind of looks like a tomato, but they taste uh, like a cantaloupe type melon. Um, but yeah, small around. Um, anyway, uh, tried growing it last year. Um, didn't really know uh, when I should sow seed. Turned out that uh, actually I sowed the seed too late. And so actually <clears throat> the plant, uh, well, I started with a few plants, but most plants died. Only one plant remains. Um, but yeah, I sowed the seed relatively late so the plant never actually made size to fruit um, so come the autumn time I potted it up into a three litre pot uh, quite high up and then uh, stripped all the foliage brought it indoors um, mainly stripped the uh, stripped the foliage to uh, minimize the amount of spider mite that it might get and just kind of kept it on the dry side throughout the winter and we are now into February and you can see that it's starting to shoot again quite uh, nicely um, and so yeah it should definitely fruit this year um, but what I thought I'd try and do is uh, given the fact that I've got no seed to sow I thought I'd try and propagate it from these sections of shoot that uh, so where I'd earthed it up um, I kind of to be honest it was a bit of a guess I kind of assumed that it would grow a bit like a tomato in as much as if the shoots anchored into or had some soil around them they'd anchor into it and might sprout so hey presto um, educated guess has kind of paid off so what I thought I'd do is try and propagate some extra plants from these side branches uh, and literally just say so cut it there and then I'm going to tease it out and I'll do the same on the other side and then that will give me three plants so I've cut the stems now I'm going to take it out a little bit and then pot those up so I just pulled out the top from the pot literally just going to get my hands in there to try and, I wouldn't say tease, but more a yank, I suppose, the root out. Now you have one section, and now let's do the same on the other side. Right, replanted the original mother plant again, uh, firmed up the compost, and then all I'm going to do and just literally just going to cut out the tops. So I just tidy it up a little bit and uh, see whether that will encourage it to start sprouting. I'm going to go give it a good old soak and I might actually try these uh, off cuts to see if I can uh, propagate from those as well. So that's the main plant dealt with. Now for these bits literally just going to pot them up into some multi-purpose and uh, yeah so um, fill the pot with some compost plant to the center try and do it one-handed ideal and then what I'm going to do is because I now know that actually these plants do readily root up the stem going to give them some good coverage to the top or nearly to the top firm it in and leave like so I'll just do the other cutting as well or the other section there we are that's those potted up um, because that one was a bit on the big side. I have taken the top out of that as well. And again, I'll see whether I can uh, 
get cuttings from that. So essentially that's the three plants. Uh, just need a good water in and then uh, they should grow quite happily and hopefully this year I'll actually get some fruit from it. So let's see. Yeah, so that's the top of the pepino. Um, filled a pot with some compost. Just added a little bit of uh, sand grit into it. Use your mixture dipper and then I am actually going to bury that relatively deeply and then do the same with the other couple of cuttings and uh, see whether they grow. Now three pepino cuttings done um, just going to stick them in the propagate unit and uh, see what happens so watch this space. So we're five days on from when I cut the sections off the um, pepino plant and you can now see the uh, the tops where they've um, sprung into growth in the propagate unit are now touching the, the top. So let's just get the lid off. So you can see that uh, they put on probably an inch of growth already. Um, also down there you can see the new fibrous root. So uh, yeah, they should root quite happily. Um, I'm going to keep them uh, stood on this uh, base tray still for a little bit as it is heated, just to get that um, basal root development going. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly an easy way to, to increase your numbers of pepino and to propagate. So um, I'm just going to see whether the uh, tip cuttings also uh, Route through, but they'll probably take a little bit longer. Um, let me show you those. I'll pop that back on for the time being. Oh, let's get this other one off. So, there's the uh, tip cuttings. So, um, they're still green, so that's good. Uh, so, we have to just see how they do over the next uh, couple of weeks, really. Right, here we are. So we're day 15. I had a little look just now, as I always do on all the stuff. And day 15, we have visible roots to these cuttings. So that's the um, uh, cuttings that uh, obviously I took out the tops. Um, of the pepino plant so uh, you can see they're still nice and green they're quite sturdy and obviously showing signs of rooting so uh, yeah success right so as I say there's visible roots so just carefully tease around and have a little look there we are. So now I'll transplant these up and that will give me three, four, five new plants of uh, pepino to grow for this season. So um, yeah, really great result. There you are. So you got uh, all pricked out into the new pots. So yeah, that gives me the, the five new plants. Um, stick these into the heated propagator still and I will put the cover back down and just let them uh, continue to grow for a little bit longer. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you've uh, found it interesting. You know, um, we've both learnt uh, that you can now propagate pepinos in a couple of different ways, so that's good to know. Um, yeah, hope you found it of interest. If you've got any questions at all, please feel free to send them to me. Uh, keep um, subscribing to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And um, yeah, enjoy your, your gardening experience and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.